Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm going to kick down this beautiful lion today. Uh, this one was from New Crafty. It is a 50 by 40 and my September last year videos. If you want to check out my uh, September last year unboxing in New Craft Day, you will get to see the full details of this gorgeous little lion or big lion. Uh, yeah, I did uh, feature him on my last unboxing uh, just to give you a quick sneak peek of him. But I'm going to do the kitting down now because this one does have gem and crystal cut on the uh, canvas there. There wasn't any on the packets, but there was on the canvas. So I can kit this one down properly. And now I have my crystal codes and my crystal chart and my conversion from crystal codes to DMC codes. I can put them all away, all together. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, he's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I'm not keen on is the fact that the glue that goes around the edge of these uh, white pearls is just not quite sticky enough. And as you can see, that one has popped off. So these are little, uh, I'll take it back off again now. These are little gem rings, which I've not had before. Um, rather than putting a ring of crystals, you know, and actually making up a ring of crystals, they are actually a full ring that just sticks on. But for whatever reason, they don't seem to stick very well. So what I'm going to do is position them in the right place. And then I am just going to put a little bit of sealer just over the middles of them. Um, and it'll just stop anything from moving and make sure that they don't fall off. So, yeah, uh, I noticed in my comments one lady had said that he's got blue eyes like Robert Redford. And I thought, oh, Robert Redford. Ooh. <laughs> so shall we call this lion Robert? Robert the lion or Bobby the lion? No, he's definitely a Robert because he's grand and beautiful. So, yeah, I shall forever refer to this as Robert Redford. <laughs> But he has got a pink nose. I don't think Robert Redford's got a pink nose. Or maybe he has. Go figure. <laughs> so, yeah. I love the uh, large crystals. The large special drills. They're just... You get a different take on them completely. Ooh, the different colours now as well. So I do need to really... Mm, get some different boxes, I think. Zoom out a little bit. So you can see a bit better what I'm doing. So this is my box with all my DMC ordered and numbered crystals and the ones that I've actually got have got the number um, have got the number of the crystal code as well. They seem to go from about 1 to 220 from what I can gather. Now then I have been really busy and I have typed out the list because if you remember I got this code card and it's got all the say crystal codes on it that you get on canvases a lot and the date converting them to DMC codes but none of it's in numerical order so we went through and integrated all of my crystals into my DMC code order and then now I've actually gone through and I've typed out the crystal code numbers from one, as I say, it's up to 219. And we did have two that had hashtags on, which haven't got um, actual numbers on. So I'm not really sure why. Uh, and then there is all of these numbers at the end or these numbers at the end that aren't actually used as a DMC number. So this is all the missing numbers from one to 220 that at the moment don't have a crystal associated with them uh, for dmc codes so that now i can look and if i pick up a number 15 i know that it's dmc code 741 yay i'm getting organized so i'm going to use this um check off list for now if i do need to or i think a color's wrong then i can just come back to my coat code card because there's every chance in the world that I've actually typed some of these in wrongly and um, I do seem to be a bit dyslexic when I'm typing numbers and things in and spellings Um there's certain words that I just always put two letters the wrong way around in don't know why it's just one of those things that I do when I'm typing and I know that I do it and yet I still carry on doing it you know anyway so we are going to do this Ooh. This is exciting stuff, right? Let me clear my desk a little bit. So we've got some room to put stuff. Put those up 
there yeah as i say this box we've got this amount in here and it goes into this side here and then my special drills my special shapes will go in one of the other sides as well so that they're spreading out a little bit i think i'll have to put i think i've got two of these boxes so maybe the specials will have to go into the pink box and the uh, dmc crystals will have to go into this box i'll see oh i might got completely new boxes you never know okay so we are first of all getting our crystals that we have here this is the uh, newest of the trays that i got right what did i do last time i think i put them in the middle didn't i so let's put that in the middle there so we can see what's going on there we've got our list here and we've got our little code here and now we need a spill tray a, a Liz a spill proof tray no such thing <laughs> right i think we're ready to go so number one on here is uh, number 93 crystal code so number 93 is number 310 oh oh yes it is it's black so and i did actually um leave 310 in here even though really i've got my big jar of black now then i do have these as um the crystal ones the ones with the silver backs so i'm going to continue just leaving the silver backed ones in there i'm going to put that there and i'm just going to put these into my uh black's jar which is huge but i have got a lot of round black crystals or um, acrylic gems or resin gems whichever i put them all in the same one in there okay so that was uh, an easy one to check right so number two is number 10 so number 10 on my list is 3804 um anybody remember where i left my card so that i can keep my numbers right right so these are rebecca admore zest's little cards as well which you can use uh, as divider cards or to put in where you've taken your card out from so uh, i've just taken five minutes to find it right so we wanted number 10 which was 3804 okay three eight oh four and yep we have got some of these so and we've got that one there uh, if i come across any where i've not got the crystal code written on then i will put a little sticker on with the crystal code on because i think i do want that double whammy of having uh, both codes on okay just in case i need all the help i can get <laughs> right and number three is number one which number one um is five two hundred so did i put that at the back or did i put that at the front i can't remember i think i've put it at the front yet yeah. so again this is just our plain crystal which i can put um in my crystal jar or i can put in here yeah i ain't going to be able to get any more in there now so I don't need to keep those there. Okay, and number four is number 18. So number 18 is 3078. So we want 3078 is that one. Okay, and we have got some of those and it's number 18. So going okay so far i love it when a plan comes together <laughs> trouble is i think these bags are going to get pretty full pretty quickly and then i've got to decide what i'm going to do whether i'm just going to keep one bag or whether i'm going to keep two bags or what i'm going to do but at the moment that's where we are don't go to number 11 Liz. we want number five now so number five is 47 so number 47 is 995. So we're back across in this bag. I think that will nearly be the top of the shop. And that is 995. Okay. Yay. I'm so pleased that, uh, fingers crossed, this is working so far. Don't jinx it was the cry. I know I'm good at that. 
goes behind the card, Liz goes behind the card, right. Yeah, I've had a bit of a bad morning, you'll never guess. Um, getting Hubby ready. Um, the guys arrived to take Hubby in his little bus and then I get his coat on and we're struggling with the zip and I couldn't get the zip done up. And they said, oh, you're all right, don't worry, take your time, you know. We want you to be wrapped up because it's ever so cold outside. Right, 45 is the number 793. And then Hubby suddenly says, I don't remember having a coat that's blue. I'd only put my coat on him, hadn't I? <laughs> so after spending all that time doing up the zip and thinking, well, I don't ever remember having this problem before with Hubby's zip. The trouble is, it was my coat, it wasn't his. So then I had to take the coat off. Uh, fortunately, uh, the chaps that had come to collect him thought it was really, really funny. And I just thought, well, that just shows how stupid I am. <laughs> yeah, sending hubby out in my coat. As I say, I am quite a big lady. So, yeah, we are pretty similar in sizes of clothes and things. But, oh, my goodness. If he hadn't have said, I'd have just sent him and then I'd have been thinking, where's my coat? What have I done with it? You know, if I nip out for some shopping later on. And uh, yeah, hubby's wearing it. <laughs> so it wouldn't have been so bad if it hadn't been the fact that I'd kept them waiting so long while I struggled with the zip. And then it wasn't even his coat anyway. Oh dear. So right, 111 is number 907. Yeah, I definitely needed to do this uh, sheet and put it in numerical order. It would have been an awful lot of a longer job having to look through to see which number belonged to which one. I mean, I know when you are dealing with numbers all the time uh, and doing repetitive things, you do tend to certain numbers stick in your head, you know, like 310 black and 5200 white and 939 dark blue and all things like that. Um, but yeah, really... The uh, thought of like remembering, uh, well, 220 numbers nearly it is, then I don't think I'd be able to do that. So having them in numerical order has just made this a bit of an easier job. So 156, 156 is number 209. Oh, this is great. I love it. I don't have to worry about uh, where I'm going to put them separately and if they're the same gems or whatever. And uh, actually, all of the ones that I've put away so far have actually been ones that I've already had. So, it'll be interesting to see whether I do eventually get all of the different uh, crystals, because there was quite a few that I didn't have, if you remember, as um, I went along on my mammoth task i'm sorry i had to split that into two videos but yeah it would have been a massive video and it probably wouldn't have uploaded uh yeah all the ones that are highlighted are the ones i've got all the ones with the cross are the ones i haven't got so there's a lot more that i haven't got so we'll see how we go we may get new ones as we go along right uh, just done number eight so no oh number nine now we're on the specials so let me just double check and see if any more of these are uh, 10, 11. I think these are all crystals now. Oh, that's one of those little roundy ones. 13, 14, we haven't got any. No, we only had 13 colours, didn't we? So, yeah. So these are now all specials, right? So I can put these two boxes away. That was quite nice, actually, because that was a bit smaller um, canvas to do with just a few colours, just to check whether my system does actually work. And it does. Yes. <laughs> and now we're back to special shapes. As I say, these really, I need to take a row out of here and spread these out a bit so that they're not so cramped in because they're all starting. You can see the bags all start to tip it that way, look. You can see all the bags are starting to push up and that's because there's so many at the bottom that they're pushing everything up and that's when they start going underneath and you lose ones. So, right, I don't need that code card anymore, so I can pop that back over there. It was worth typing it out. That has saved me um, a lot of heartache, I do believe. And now we can have a look at these. I'll do the AB in a minute and I have got a yellow AB that I need to put away as well. Um, and I've got a white pearl. These are ones that I've done on another kit. 
but uh, I've not actually got any uh, code numbers on those. Right, so we've got the AB there. Now we've got YQ07, so number 10 is white. So let's have a look. We've got white, silver, silver, blue, and we've got white there as well. So we're looking in white rounds now. And white comes after black. Because, yeah, if you remember a while ago, I couldn't find the whites anywhere. And it's because they were hidden behind the blacks. <laughs> they just disappeared and I couldn't remember where I'd put them. And, yeah, that was quite a faff. So, what have we got? We've got, uh, they've called it YQ07, which could be those. I've got Q109 on those. These are smaller ones. I've got an iridescent coating. So these are smaller ones, which could be those. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to tip those out because I can't quite see if they've got iridescent coatings or not. Uh, no, I don't think they have. I just think they're really, really shiny. So they do look like those though. And then these are like, Oh, they are sort of pearly. Uh, could no, they look smaller. They're just like a matte white. They look mm, could be those. Could be those. And I think I've got cream and white in the same bag there as well. And then I started putting my cream separately. So let's have a look at those and let's have a look at those. And this is where it starts getting fun because you suddenly find you've got different code numbers on different ones. So what size are these? Are they the small ones? If you look at the backs as well for the sizes, you tend to find it, yeah, they're a lot bigger. So it's definitely not those. So I think it is those. As I say, these I didn't have a number for. They're just an odd one that I've got from one of the specials that I've done. So I'm trying to kick down as I go along. All right, so that's those. So now I need to look at those. So this Q109 has got YQ07 on here. But they do look the same ones. So I'm going to put both numbers on for now. Yeah, this is what I feared, that we end up with getting so many different numbers, it all gets a bit confused. YQ07. Most of the time they are the same numbers, but for whatever reason these are different. So I'm going to put that on there as well. And uh, we'll see what happens because they're definitely the same. But there's not enough difference in those to put them as a separate one. So otherwise I'm going to end up with so many different bags it's going to be silly. And I don't want that to happen. Okay, so right, that's an AB. So let's now have a look in the silvers. So I know we definitely don't have that one, so I will put that in a bag on its own. And that one, number 12, is a PD06. So PD06. Yeah, so if I do lose one of these set of rings off my painting before I've got it, that's uh, sealed. I have got a spare one. But I don't want to lose any. I want to make sure they stay on. But yeah. Nice as like little wedding rings or little features on a painting or something, those or on a card. Yeah, so we're in silver and that goes into silver miscellaneous. Okay, so that's number twelve. Alright, we'll do blue in a second. So we want these. Eleven is the marquees with the iridescent coating on and i know we've definitely got some of those so let's tip those out into there and that's number 11 so and this is an my08 now on craft buddy ones the m is for marquee and the y tends to mean it's got an iridescent coating on it so it looks as though this is sort of more or less the same um, coding as these. Right, so 
are these this size yes they are and we don't have a code number on this one that's strange when i've had so many of them it's obviously that size that's uh, more of the spare the uh, popular one and the teeny tiny ones as well so i now have oh i now have a code number for this one so it is m y zero eight okay and we can put that on that bag I think even if I did get a code card with all of the different gems, then I would probably keep them still in colour order. Um, purely because if you sort of, as an example, if you look at this code card, if they were all in number order, um, as this number order, then those colours would be all over the place. And if you're looking for, say, um, a green colour and you want to match it up with something, um, you'd have to be looking all over to match up the greens. Whereas on this, other than sort of an odd one that's over there, you've just literally got a length of them here um, with the numbers on. So I find it's easier to look for them in colour if you're actually looking for a specific one. But when you're putting them away... It is nice to have particularly these in uh, number order. But yeah, I'm going to keep all my special shapes uh, in colour order because I just think that's going to be so much easier. Okay, right, so number 13 is a Y110. So they've got Y. Now then, yeah, I class those as a special, um, sorry, as a miscellaneous because it's an oval shape. So let's have a look in blue miscellaneous. Blue, blue, blue and miscellaneous. So it's anything that's not around a teardrop um, or a marquee. So they're the pale blue ones. Hearts. We've got ones that have got facets on. Oh, could be those. We'll have a look. So, yeah, we've got some lovely ones in the blue. Okay, so, yeah, these don't have any facets. So let's see if this is the same as this one. I think they are. But we'll just double check on the size. Okay. So, yeah, they look the same. And, yeah, they are. So now we've got uh, a number to go on this bag as well. Excellent. Okay, so this one is a Y110. Okay. So that's that one. Right, so now I have just got two of the ABs to put away. Now they've got um, AB003 on this for the white. What's the white on this colour code? What's number three? No, number three is 321. So they've not gone with the DMC codes or the crystal codes on the ABs. Mm. Right, this is my little art dot storage. So we've got white ABs, they're the pearl ones, we don't want them in there because they're not pearls and have I got any space in any of these? Uh, no was the cry, oh dear. Oh I've started a new one, look. Yes, so I'll put them in this one. Yeah, I used a lot at Christmas but I've still got a lot left. <laughs> I don't like to substitute the plain B5200 white out for uh, crystal, uh, for AB whites. Just gives you that bit more sparkle. Right, and now I've got a yellow. Now this is a very sort of acidic yellow. So have I actually got this one? I don't think I have. No, it's a different colour to that one. This one I don't have a code for because it's... Um, it was a say from a different kit. It's definitely not 444. So I've got another new one. Oh dear. Yeah, I like it in these little tubs because you can actually see the colour in the tubs um, without having to take the lids off. So, Right, so I'm afraid, uh, little white one, you're going to have to come out of there. Yeah, I've got some more of that green one there as well. And I'm going to have to put this yellow one in because I've not got any of this one. Okay, 
And I think what I'm going to do is take these downstairs and these can go in my little tubs that I've got downstairs um, that I keep on my little workstation. So as I'm working along, if I come across one that I want as um, a colour, then uh, that I want as a white AB, I've just got them on my little stand. Um, I have black AB, white and crystals, I think as well, that I sometimes just substitute out for other things. So I want a round label for this one so that I know it's got something in it and I'm just going to put A, B because I don't know where's the lid gone, it's there <laughs> oh dear, Millie's looking at me as if to say what are you doing okay, so that wants to go on there right and did we decide what that one no, I think I decided maybe that was a different colour. Yeah, so I'm going to put AB on that one as well. And I think they're cream ones. They're the like um, 3865 creamy type ones. So I don't really know what colour those, those are. So I'm going to put AB on that as well. Okay. Sorry, AB3865. What am I talking about? My brain's going. I'm still thinking about putting my coat on hubby. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Oh dear. As I say, at least the guys saw the funny side of it, but yeah. Spent five minutes zipping up the zip and it getting stuck and not being able to fasten it. And then by the time I do get it fastened, realise it's the wrong coat anyway, so I shouldn't have been putting it on him. <laughs> Okay, well, that's me done for now. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little kitting down and seeing how it's all going to work now with the crystal codes versus the DMC codes. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.